Section Zero of Color. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Mike Overby, Midland, Washington. Color by Conte Cullen. To you who read my book. Soon every sprinter, however fleet, comes to a winter of sure defeat. Though he may race like the hunted doe, time has a pace to lay him low. Soon we who sing, however high, must face the thing we cannot fly. Yea, though we fling our notes to the sun, time will outsing us, every one. All things must change as the wind is blown. Time will estrange the flesh from the bone. The dream shall elude the dreamer's clasp, and only its hood shall comfort his grasp. A little while, too brief at most, and even my smile will be a ghost. A little space, a finger's crook, and who shall trace the path I took? Who shall declare my whereabouts? Say if, in the air, my being shouts along light ways, or if in the sea, or deep earth stays the germ of me. Ah, none knows, none save, but too well, the cryptic one who will not tell. This is my hour to wax and climb, flaunt a red flower in the face of time, and only an hour time gives, then snap goes the flower, and dried is the sap juice of the first grapes of my vine i proffer your thirst my own heart's wine here of my growing a red rose sways seed of my sowing and work of my days i run but time's abreast with me i sing but he climbs with my highest sea drink while my blood colors the wine reach while the bud is still on the vine then when the hawks of death tear at my throat, Till song and breath ebb note by note, Turn to this book of the mellow word For a singing look at the stricken bird. Say, this is the way he chirped and sung In the sweet heyday when his heart was young. Though his throat is bare, by death defiled, Song labored there and bore a child. When the dreadful axe rives me apart, when the sharp wedge cracks my arid heart, turn to this book of the singing me for a springtime look at the wintry tree. Say, thus it was weighed with flower and fruit, ere the axe was laid unto its root. Though the blows fall free on a gnarled trunk now, once he was a tree with a blossomy bough. End of section zero.